Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rykon here, and welcome back to Brand's Tale. Now, before we get stuck into today's episode, let's have a chat. Now, in the previous series that I've run of Cataclysm, I have also done it uh, with a face cam on. I turned that off a while ago, uh, but you know what? New series, new time. Let's do a poll. Up in the right-hand corner, you're going to see a poll on whether or not you'd like to see face cam return, if you haven't seen it before, if you want it to be there. I find it's a good way for me to communicate with you all and uh, to add a little bit more to this. But I know for some people, it does break immersion and it takes you away from the game itself. So let me know. Vote in the poll. And either way, I'm completely fine with the result. But with that, we're going to jump back in here with our man, Bran. Now, Bran has spent his time downstairs it is currently 3 45 a.m still very very early in the hours of the morning we've just come back from a big um a really really big run where we had a whole heap of um just good things that we found along our way i have sorted many of those things however we still have some of them in our inventory there are a few things that i would like to be able to make however we're not going to be able to well actually no with our flashlight we might be able to make some of those now so if we have a look over here we already have ourselves a washboard which is great we're going to need some way to cook food down here and a very basic thing that we can make to cook food with is if we go across to other here and if we go to this here here, a soda can stove kit it's a very very basic stove it's an ultralight alcohol burning stove with a similar ring crafted by hand from a couple of aluminium soda cans with a 500 ml bottle to hold the count the concentrated alcohol so we're gonna need to try and use alcohol to do this so this is where I make it a little tough because yes we can make this now I don't know if we're gonna be able to make the concentrated alcohol um, because it's frozen currently and that's the issue that I'm dealing with here the reason I'm wanting to have this down here is so that we can heat things up so that we can actually uh, use them. But we'll go ahead, uh, we can't see the craft. It shouldn't take us too long, so we're going to go ahead and flick on our flashlight while we do attempt to work on this. So let's see, how long? It's going to take 20 minutes to make? We might lose light in 20 minutes. That's a whole heap of battery power. Um, I don't know if that's worth it. You know what? We've got a candle. Let's go ahead and light the candle. We're going to go ahead and activate this thing. We light the candle, so that should be enough w light to kind of work by for the time being. So, yeah, okay, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Let's go ahead and see if we can make this thing now. I'm seeing if there's anything else I want to make. And no, just from everything there. Well, actually, no one's saying that. We would want to make the mop as well. Um, can we take it apart, though? Yes, we can disassemble it. So I think we want to make that so that we can try and mop up everything around here. But first of all, we are very thirsty. So let's see if we can attempt to deal with that by... There we go. Making ourselves this soda can kit. Um, so with that, we are going to need to try and refuel it. Um, this is still active right now, so I want to make use of it. We are going to... <sighs> it's going to be under chemistry. That's concentrated acid. Can we not make concentrated alcohol yet i guess that could be an issue we might just not be able to fuel this thing until we can find like ethanol or something like that to refill it with if we go over towards here do we have any booze in here we've got some belgian ale but that's about it really um the soda can stove kit denatured alcohol is what we need so do i have the ability to make denatured alcohol no no we don't well we have a tool we can't use it right now but you know it's <laughs> it's okay it's all right we're fine we're fine we're doing fine okay so we're gonna go ahead and put that thing down for now on our display rack and we're gonna go and see if we can make ourselves that mop now i know not the most interesting thing in the world for us to be building but something that i think is going to be worth it in the long run so let's go to our uh, mop. There we go. How long is it going to take? 10 minutes. Okay, so, right, there we go. We've still got some candlelight. Can we, um, extinguish you? Activate. Hey! That makes sense as a candle. I just didn't know if we could blow it out. I'm glad that we can. Um, looking at this, is there anything here that can give us quench that we can actually drink? Well, the beer. Um, and wild apple. Wild apple, I think, is also a type of alcohol, so I kind of want to keep it for that reason. Hmm... I guess, hopefully, come morning, uh, some of these things will have thawed out. Because right now, there's nothing here that's going to really help us. It's unfortunate. 
Okay, all right, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and try and utilize this mop. So how are we gonna do this? We just go activate D and we mop the floor. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay, you mop yourself up, the universe implodes and reforms around you. Okay, let's go ahead and try and use the mop, not on the square that we're on. Hey, look at that, fantastic. We are mopping up all this mess. Now, the reason this is important is if we don't mop up the blood, um, it's going to attract rodents and um, other forms of nasties. So, yeah, that can still happen from the bodies, though. So the bodies are most certainly a concern for us. How much time is this taking? Oh, it's taking barely any time at all, which is good. So yeah, we're just gonna keep on going around here, mopping up all this blood. Um, does it, no, I, I thought we might have to like ring it out or something like that, but uh, no, we don't need to, it looks like. Um, let's just start from the left-hand side. We'll, we'll start from the top left and we'll just work our way down because there is, there is blood over pretty much everything. God damn, we made, we made quite a mess. A big time mess and go ahead and mop up that as well I imagine there might be some places that we missed so we'll just need to flick our flashlight on to make sure we can figure it out um, that's the flashlight going on again by accident um, so some of you have uh, come up with reasons as to why the things might be dropping down from the surface or you know reasons to make it work for us and I and I like those going with the idea that you know maybe they're getting into the space between the floors and they're kind of clawing their way through gaps and such which I think is really cool so I think that's what we're going to go with as the the head cannon as to how things have been falling down on top of us from above really what it is it's an issue with experimental z levels it's a it's a it's a catch because you know i do really like it but it can also have troubles as as you've been able to see uh we definitely want to go ahead and mop up out here we don't know how bad things are in our immediate surroundings but uh hey with two doors i'm feeling pretty good about that um let's just make sure that we mop up our corpse pile god damn I can just imagine him climbing all the way up the top there to get that really hard to reach blood. Uh, go ahead and mop there. Good job, Bran. Nothing like a clean environment to work in. <laughs> I bet you didn't expect us to be doing this today. On today's episode of Cataclysm. Um, but yeah, no, I think, I think we're actually pretty good. I think we've done the whole lot here, which is awesome. We are going to close things up. Um, when we're not using them. Okay, cool. <sighs> Look at us, doing stuff and things. Well, some denatured alcohol would be great. Unfortunately, we don't have that. What we might try and do now is sleep. Um, don't know if we're going to be able to or not. The other thing that we could try and do, um, which now that we have soap, we'd be able to do it, is clean the backpack that we have here. We obviously have a whole heap of clothing here as well that we might be able to start to clean. A lot of the leather things we're going to want to try and take apart because we're going to want to sew them into clothing. Um, so let's go ahead and grab the soap and the washboard. So we're going to grab that washboard and we're going to grab the soap from here. Um, we don't have a lot of water though in the toilet, so this is where it's um, it's going to be tough. But I think at the very least we can get rid of the negative that we're getting from the backpack. So we'll go ahead and activate the washboard. Backpack filthy. Ah, uh, right. Yes, go ahead. We wash our clothing. Fan friggin' tastic. Now I don't know if that used all the soap. To no, it used two things of soap. But we now have a clean backpack, so we're not going to get the negative from it, which I'm happy about. Um, right. Morale filthy gear. There's something to do with that going on. Um, we don't. We shouldn't have that anymore. So yeah, we should be looking a little bit better in terms of our in terms of our morale. Uh, we do have a wooden needle as well. I don't know if we're going to be able to need to see to be able to practice on our clothing, or at least to try and repair it. Um, I imagine, yes, we would need to. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and drop off the soap bar and the washboard, just in their two respective places. Just so they're nice and safe. And we're going to come up to here and grab... Do we have a... Did I make one? I'm sure I made a wooden needle. Maybe I haven't made that yet. Um... No, maybe we actually haven't got around to doing that. Washboard. No. Okay. No, we don't have a wooden needle. It's usually one of the first things that I do. Um, we haven't had a huge amount of light, though, so I... 
that'll be a reason why. But we're going to need a wooden needle, just a very, very basic one, to be able to do these bits and pieces here. And you know what? We should be able to make one not too difficultly with that um, candle. We've got some wooden splinter bits here, so we're going to go ahead and light this candle again. And we're going to go across to other, and let's see, wooden needle. It's going to take 20 minutes again. Is there anything else we want to make in here right now? No, I think that's probably going to be it. We could use a head torch, um, which would mean strapping our flashlight to our head. Um, it would... Um, I, I don't know if that's really going to help us out. I mean, even when we're f turning on our flashlight, I don't know if you need to have a free hand. It just seems to work anyway, so no, we're not going to use a head torch. Um, I guess it uses up less space in our backpack, but it's pretty minor right now. Knitting needles will be nice eventually um, to turn thread and yarn into cloth. With that's not so much an issue though. I find string is harder to get than than rags. We can get rags from pretty much everywhere. Uh, so we're going to go for the wooden needle here. Let's go ahead and start cracking away at that. Okay, so we have ourselves a wooden needle, which is great. Our, our candle is still lit. Um, do we have any thread right now? We're going to go ahead and see if we can reload this wooden needle here. Reload. Uh, we do not have any thread, so we can get thread easily enough by taking apart some rags. However, it does take an hour, and I'm pretty sure we're going to go ahead and activate that. I'm pretty sure I'm using a match each time to light this. I haven't been keeping track of the matchbook, but I'm assuming that's what's happening here. Um, yeah, am I going to be able to disassemble a rag in the darkness? It is unknown. And so let's find out together. Um, disassemble. We cannot see the craft. So it takes an hour to do that, which is a long time. Um, it doesn't take as long, I think, to take apart small strings. And we would be able to get some thread that way. We've got four small strings. So let's go ahead and just take one of those. We're going to go ahead and activate the... Um, activate the candle. And we're going to go ahead and disassemble one of these small strings. 50 thread, yes. Okay, we disassemble it into its components. Fantastic. So, again, we're going to go ahead and turn this thing off. Let's see, matchbook. Yes, we are using a match each time. So while we're saving something, we're kind of losing the other. Um, I find that fire starting things are easier to come by. So this candle is going to be useful for us. Um... We can always find more matches, is what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, alright, so, now that we have that, uh, we can go ahead and reload our wooden needle. Okay, fantastic, done, great. So, one of the best things that we can do early on, because I imagine our tailoring skill isn't very good, it is zero currently, yeah, so, what we need to try and do is make something. I know it sounds weird, you want to just go into your repairing your gear, but it's actually going to be better for us to try and make something that has a difficulty, let's say, of one. Um, and ideally something that we can make in the dark, like a blindfold, for example. No, that's, that's difficulty zero, so it's not actually going to help us out at all. Um, it looks like, it looks like it's probably going to be, actually, is there anything that we can make here? No, they're all, they're all zero. Uh, so, you know what, I wonder if the blindfold would give us anything at all. It does say skill use tailoring. So we could give it a try. We can make a blindfold and we can do it in the dark. So let's just see. Did we go up at all? Um, tailoring is now 23. Yes. So this is how we're going to do it. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but this is how we get through this early stage. Now there is a chance that we might actually lose um, some things here, but we didn't. So that's great. So we're going to go ahead and repeat. Um, we used bandages last time. We crafted a blindfold by accident. No, no, hang on. Blindfold. No, that's good. Okay. <laughs> I thought it said bandana. But no. Okay, alright. So yes, let's go ahead and do this again. Blindfold. Let's go ahead and disassemble it. It shouldn't take us too many turns before we are able to do this. Um, it may yield a bandana. Are we getting a bandana each time? Or are we getting our bandages back? That's what I'd like to know. Are we dropping them? No, we are getting our bandages back. Okay, fantastic. Um, you can't focus and are working slowly. Yeah, we're not super happy at the moment, unfortunately. So, 
yeah, that's a thing. But in saying that, we are still getting some skill, not as much as I would like. So, you know what, we might be able to do something about that. I'm going to take the blindfold, we're going to disassemble it one more time. Okay, now, if we go up to our tools, we grab this banjo here. We go ahead and wield this banjo. I don't know if we're going to be able to do both at the same time. But we're going to wield this banjo. Um, we're just going to drop our knife spear for the time being. Apparently that's what a banjo looks like, it's a battery. Uh, we're going to go ahead and activate our banjo. So, we start playing the banjo, strumming away in the darkness. Now, I'm a little worried, because we are making 18 sound, but it is going to help improve our mood. So we should see that slowly start to climb up. Our focus at the moment is on 103, and we can see that we're now happy. Okay, this is good. This is good. We're going to keep that going for a little bit longer. It's now 6 o'clock in the morning, so it is actually morning time now. The sun will have arisen. Let's just keep up this little thing that we're doing. Okay, we play a quick southern ditty on our banjo. As long as we don't hear any whumping from upstairs, we'll be okay. I hope. And we'll go ahead and check on that water in a little bit as well and see if any of the drinks are unfrozen. Okay, disassemble you, and yes, let's see, how are we looking? We're on 58, we're getting there slowly but surely, luckily it doesn't take us too long to actually make the blindfold, it just takes a little bit longer, I think, to take it apart, to disassemble it. Okay, we're doing fine, we are doing fine, and we're just going to keep this up just for a little bit longer, playing our blindfold, playing our blindfold, <laughs> playing... Our banjo, while just tying this thing together, undoing it, and I'm trying to think why this is a good idea, um, or why we'd think to do this, but um, I guess he hasn't done much with fabric before, so maybe he, I imagine he's actually just kind of like looking at the threads, trying to take it apart and stuff like that, trying to get better at sewing, rather than literally just tying a bandage together as a blindfold, and then undoing it again and again and again hey look at that tailoring is now level one okay great so we're going to take this blindfold disassemble it one more time so now with our tailoring skill being at one we can make things that are a little bit more uh difficult for us to do for example the pair of hand wraps um disassembling this takes a minute so it takes a minute to make um that's a difficulty of zero though so what we want to try and find is something that has a difficulty of one and I'm struggling to find that. Um, that's fabrication. Hmm. I guess... So I know how to make a whole heap of things. Oh, that's that's right. Okay, so that's fabrication too. That's why I can see that. Uh, so what we want to try and do is search for something like this. It's going to be a difficulty one for us to make. Um, so, what can we do that isn't going to be too difficult? We just don't have any resources at the moment, it would seem, to be able to make a lot of things. That's making a blindfold from scratch, okay, that's using fabrication. Uh, pair of safety glasses, okay. We'd need a plastic bottle to be able to do that, which we apparently currently don't have. Hmm. A hooded hat, we'd need a hoodie or something like that to go with it. And a whole heap of thread too. Bandana. That's also a difficulty of zero. We're wanting difficulty one things. And it seems like most of them are at the top. So the best things that we can make, it seems, are up the top here. And a lot of it just seems to need a whole heap of either thread or yarn. So arm warmers wouldn't actually be a terrible idea. Making arm warmers or socks or anything like that are a good idea. I'm surprised that we can't make uh, basic socks yet, though. I'm just going to search for sock. Rock and a sock. Uh, pair of socks. Uh, yeah, so pair of sock is probably what we are. Oh, th that's difficulty zero as well. So, so no, we don't want to do that, surprisingly. Hmm. I always thought that that was uh, our next step in that. I guess we could have been doing that instead before when I was looking at uh, things that we can create. Because really, you want to try and get your fabrication to two before you start to repair any of your things. So it looks like arm warmers are going to be the way to go. So we need thread to be able to do that. So all we need to do is take our wooden needle and unload it and now we have thread so let's go into here 
We're going to go back to other, and we can see, no, armor, rather. We can make a whole heap of things now. Light gloves, arm warmers. So the arm warmers seem to be a little easier, or rather quicker for us to make. They do take a little bit more thread, though, so there is a chance we could lose that thread. It wouldn't be the end of the world. It would suck a little bit. I mean, light gloves aren't terribly difficult to make. It does take a little bit more time, but really, I think time versus losing less things if things go wrong is kind of good. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and spend some time trying to make some light gloves. Oh, too dark. That's also going to be the issue. Yeah, okay. And I don't think we're going to be able to make anything. No. Yeah. Darkness is still going to be an issue for us, and that's why I think making a screwdriver should still be a priority for us. We never did find any duct tape, did we? No. So if we did have duct tape, we'd be able to make ourselves a screwdriver. I guess we're just going to have to go out again. Um, and unfortunately, being hungry and thirsty, which isn't super awesome, let's go stop playing the banjo for now. And we're going to go ahead and drop that banjo back over here, picking up our bandages and our knife spear let's see can we drink any of these things it looks like finally we can so during the night they do freeze but yes we're good now let's go ahead and take this it's going to take it's going to be off in five days apparently orange juice and okay next thing that's going to quench us a whole heap the fruit juice and then we are kind of out of things that we can have yeah we're going to have to try and set some bottles up on the surface eventually as well. Okay, that's good. Okay, we should be feeling a little bit better. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get some kind of shut eye. Um, that's right, that doesn't really work. Hmm. I guess we're going to try and sleep on the couch. How are we looking? Yeah, we're, 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 we're good. We're feeling pretty good, all things considered. Let's go ahead. Um, we want to sleep with our hmm, fire axe in our hand. Okay, go to sleep, my friend. Go to sleep. Have a rest. Ah, uh, we try, but we cannot. Okay, well, look, we're just going to lie here for a while. It's going to give us a chance to heal some of our wounds. So we're going to do it for a bit. We are going to go get a drink eventually, though, if we don't fall asleep. Okay, hungry. We try, but we cannot. It's a tough one. Okay, all right. Let's go get something to eat and drink. So it's going to be using the fruit juice again. Ah, uh, we don't have any fruit juice left. But we do have, um, beer root beer okay the root beer we can have without getting intoxicated getting a little intoxicated is actually okay if we want to try and fall asleep um you know what yeah let's have some more of this belgian ale which i think we've already cracked open there we go nice okay we're feeling pretty good after that um let's go have something else that's going to go off soonish uh the cookies go off in a year but you know what what the hell let's have them they're going to quench us a little bit or rather they're going to make us a little thirsty not too terribly bad, though. Let's see, did the alcohol help us sleep? No, nope, unfortunately it didn't. But still, with everything bandaged up, we are slowly starting to recover our limbs over time. Come on, buddy. Get some shut-eye. I know it's midday, so it's not going to be easy for him to go to sleep now, but I'd rather we kind of start trying to sleep during the day. There we go, we finally got there. I'm going to have a sip of coffee in celebration. Okay, it's just our left arm and our right leg. Right arm's nearly completely healed. We're close, we're close, and we're looking good. It's just the arms now, just the left arm. And, yep, it's going right towards the evening as well. We're very hungry and thirsty, though. I hope we wake up before things start freezing. We might just be able to get there in time. And, yes, we have. Okay, fantastic. So, we're going to have some more... I don't want to have beer if we're going to go out and be fighting. Beer is okay to a degree, but uh, can do us in. Okay, let's let's continue on for the bacon. It's not going to make us too thirsty. Could be worse. So let's see. Uh, carry on with that same bacon. I would like to. Did here it is, bacon. Okay, and we're on to that final bag of bacon. Um, you know what? We could have cookies as well. They're not. Terribly, and then, boy, they make us happy. Okay, so let's see. We've still got water, but it hasn't been treated. Hmm. We need to look out for alcohol tonight. Let's see. Red sauce, tin of spam. Uh, I guess we'll just have some more booze. 
Okay, we had a little bit there. Right, so what don't we need to be bringing with us? We don't need the rags and the threads and things like that, so we want to try and make it so that we're carrying the least amount possible. Our backpack is in danger of breaking, which is a little unfortunate. I, I forgot we were rocking a judo gi. That's, uh, <laughs> that's an interesting look, my friend. Um, let's see, yeah, so our torso is a little bit encumbered. Um, how can we try and deal with this? The encumbrance, we're getting 10 from the gi, we're getting 10 from the backpack, and we're getting a fair bit from the raincoat. I'm gonna probably leave the raincoat behind tonight. So for our good clothing, I think we're gonna go ahead and put it up to here. Are we gonna bring a gun with us? I'm half tempted just in just in case of an emergency. Okay, raincoat, we're gonna leave you there. Let's have a look again. Torso, that's a little bit better in terms of the encumbrance. We've got the dusk mask and the kithya on which is probably a little overkill on the mouth, so we need to watch our stamina, because as we run, we're gonna be losing stuff there. Just got the medical gloves, they are not doing so well. Hey, did we actually get to keep that pair of light gloves? I don't know if I took them apart or not. Um, our legs are a little bit over encumbered here, we've got layering issues going on. We could potentially take off the jeans, we would lose a little bit of um, storage though. Only a tiny bit, so I think that's going to be okay. We're going to go ahead and take the jeans off. Boom. There we go. Still rocking that gi. Yeah, our legs are a little bit better there now. And as for our feet, um, dress shoes and socks. Fantastic. And just while we are here, I would like to bring attention to a message that I have received actually upon recording this episode right now. On your screens, you're going to see some incredible fan art from Mark Daniel, aka Stately Raven, and I am amazed by this piece here. And I really like the look of Bran in this phenomenal work my friend it's absolutely brilliant and uh yeah I, I gotta say this is canon for how i imagine brand looking so i look forward to more art coming from this series thank you so much for submitting that and i think we'll see some more of that popping up along the way as well so if you do have any fan art you'd like to share of brand and his journey so far please do send it in Okay, side tracks aside, let's continue on. Our jeans are off. I, I'm i half tempted to leave the dusk mask behind. Half tempted, half tempted. I'm not fully sold on it yet. Okay. Mm, okay, no, we do not need the mop. We do not need the wooden needle. We can leave those tools behind. But what else? What else do we want to be dropping? Really as much as we can. If we don't need it, we shouldn't have it. And I still think it's worth us having two weapons. For the most part. Um, the hammer, I honestly, I, you know, I don't think we're going to need the hammer on the go. Um, so we're going to go ahead and leave that behind. If we do find a screwdriver though, it would be good to take some things apart, so... I don't know. No, you know what? Let's let's keep it. It it doesn't take up too much space, so I think that's okay. All of these, they're not taking up too much space. I mean, when you put them all together like that, yeah, they do a little bit more. You know what? We don't need to have multivitamins on us right now, so we're gonna go drop those off with the rest of our bits and pieces. So let's go do that now. Multivitamin, you can go ahead and live over there. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. I want to have our knife spear out on the go, so yeah, the only issue with that though is that if we get snuck up on by shady zombies, the Virex is much better. Still, we want to avoid combat where possible. Okay, we're at 8.15 at the moment. I think we have everything that we're going to want. I don't know, I don't know what kind of direction that we want to go in still. I think we'll go out, we'll see what the situation is like on the surface. It might be worse than we think. Okay, we got a giant cellar spider, two giant cellar spiders. Okay, all right. Uh, both are currently fleeing, moderately injured. There's still pains in the ass though, so I don't think we're gonna wanna try and fight them if we can avoid them. Let's see, what do we have over here? Are you pulped? You are pulped, you're also pulped. That's great, fantastic. Okay, so, the spiders seem to be settling in. We got a restaurant down there, house. 
art gallery sporting goods store could have a few good things for us there is actually one up here as well no that's small storage units okay all right the candy shop makes me think there's just going to be tons of kids so that's not really going to be a great place for us to end up uh we got a park animal shelter i also don't think that's going to be great the library will be amazing for the books um mechanics garage house this block should be okay. I want to see. I want to see if we can make it across. I want to see how bad that building is. We'll kind of go from there. Hello, tough zombie. Have you seen? You have seen us. Okay. Now he's on rubble at the moment. So if we kind of be a little patient here, we might be able to stab at him. And we can. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and run back. I did just say like about like the not fighting. I guess I take that back. Okay, nice, good pierces, and there we go, fan freaking tastic Uh, do you have anything for us? Not really. Let's go ahead and smash this corpse. Okay, I'm trying to make a uh, note of if we are damaged, if we are doing damage to our spear though. Okay, the, the spiders I don't want to tangle with. Can I avoid you? I hope so. Let's go down here. We don't want to fight y'all. Okay, alright. You're currently fleeing, I don't know what you're fleeing. If you're fleeing me, that's great. I'm down with that. Let's see if we can just assess the situation across the road here. So we've spotted a zombie um, who cannot see us currently, which is great. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. It's a really nice clear night. So we're going to take advantage of that. We're going to take advantage of the uh, copper wire here. Okay, let's actually stop running for now. And we'll just check and see if we can be seen. Also, just be mindful of shady zombies, which can and do still exist. Okay, that all that noise is not so great for us. Let's see if we can get close to this house. Oh, freaking! see what I mean. See what I mean. Okay. Oh, God. Are they all around me? Oh, they totally freaking are. Those bastards. Okay. Uh, there's a shocker zombie that seems to be a little close. That door is currently locked. Would we be able to pick it in time? Probably not. So let's just stay on the move for now. Okay, there's definitely something, okay, moving around inside there. We're going to start to slow down now. They're making a whole heap of noise there. Okay, I would hope that we've lost track of the others at this stage. Okay, so we're seeing a shocker zombie all the way to the west, quite far to the west. Okay. We're seeing some more broken windows. Right, so with this one, we should be able to use our crowbar. Makeshift crowbar to pry it. Okay, we do. Nice. Let's close this thing up. Oh, crap. We're being followed. There's definitely a shady zombie out there. Let's go and open the window then. Son of a bitch. Yep, there he is. Let's stab at him. Oh, nice critical. We've been grabbed. Come on, finish him off. Okay, we managed to kill that one. We're getting pretty good with the knife spear, actually. Oh, damn. Bites into our right arm. Okay, we managed to bat him away as he tries to grab us. We finally puncture the other. We've been followed by three. God damn. Okay, the knife spear is damaged by the blow. But we managed to kill three of them there. However, that did make a fair bit of noise. We've got some Prozac, a cash card, and we'll take the long string. Okay, all right. There is a good quality backpack there, but um, we're just going to go ahead and leave that. Smash those corpses, and our knife spear was damaged further, I think, potentially. Hmm, okay. Uh, that is solder. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and grab that. Oh, crap. Okay. What do we got over here? Let's just stay, um, kind of on this side. So if anything comes for us, it's gonna kind of have to go past the table. Okay, shady zombie. Are you hurt at all, my friend? You are lightly injured. We'll go stab. Okay, so he's got to be a little bit slower because he's climbing over the table. Oh, he he bent our glasses. He dented them ever so slightly. That's not nice. He claws at us. Okay, and we block some of the damage with our knife spear. Let's go ahead and just wield the fire axe real quick if we can. And we'll smash that corpse. I think we're just going to keep the fire axe out just while we're in here. We've got some freaking epic music playing for finding the legendary glass jar of pesto. Cold and refreshing. We'll take it. The raw lasagna, the hand drill, and the tailor's kit. The hand drill's nice. That's cool. If we need to do drilling, that's fantastic. The tailor's kit is always good. 
Okay, fantastic. Um, did we have a Taylor's kit down there? Now I can't remember, because this is the problem when you're playing multiple Cataclysm games, it's difficult to remember. I know we made the wooden needle. Maybe we didn't need to. Maybe we had the Taylor's kit and I was just being dumb. I apologize if that was the case. If not, we have a Taylor's kit, and Taylor's kits are brilliant. Okay, we've got a cold vegetable salad. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and just have this right now. Um, do it. Okay. All right, there's a plastic bowl. We're just gonna leave it for now. Um, I want to get that string, but I'm not gonna kill for it. Okay, let's let that stamina start to come back just as we're wandering around. Okay, interesting music. <laughs> let's have a wander around the room, and we're gonna go over here and close these windows. Okay, mystery novel. Just some sheets and things on the bed. And a sweater that fits. Well, now that is tempting. That's pretty good warmth. We, we, we're not too cold at the moment though, so that's not really going to be something that we desperately need. It does have felt, if, I think if we take it apart. Um, it's going to take up a lot of volume. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and leave that. Leave that as it is. And we'll go ahead and close up this door as well, just so nothing sneaks up on us. If we can avoid it. Okay. Oh, cigarettes. Sure. Why not? Okay. What do we have down here? Just the room that we came in. Okay. Alright. Bathroom, how are you looking? Uh, someone's coming for us. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, so this house is now officially explored. We can explore that house, but we heard some troubles going on in there. Let's try and go to the one up there and just start to work our way down. If possible. Okay. We dive through the window. And we see a shocker zombie. Of course we do. Okay, we see a fat zombie now as well. Can the fat zombie see us though? That's the question. Long string and take the long string. Okay, I would like to try and clean the glass if possible. If we see him approaching, we are going to stop doing that. Heard a noise. Ignore. Uh, we're hearing a lot of noises quite close to us, so it makes me think that, yep, they're, yep, they're in there. Uh, I think, yes, you are able to detect me. Uh, I didn't unlock that door as well, that's dumb of me. Let's climb in here, and just wait for him to climb through here. We'll go ahead and back up one, and start stabbing. Oh, fire axe, son of a bitch. Okay, well, <laughs> he grabbed us, but we managed to send him reeling backwards. Okay, fire axe is still pretty damn legendary. Okay, come on you son of a bitch. Of course you did. Okay. Right, we need to watch out for that shocker now. If he gets wind of where we are, it's not good for anyone. Take the long string. Okay, lots of crap. Smash, smash. Okay. Alright, um, so there's still a fat zombie in that house. We could go ahead and change back to our knife spear for now. And just have a peek at the window. Okay, skeletal dog, you're not aware of us yet. That's good. Oh, uh, what the frack? Okay, oh, it's not a- it's a dinosaur suit. <laughs> that terrified me. That absolutely terrified me. Okay, it's a dinosaur suit, everyone. Oh, great. And we got a fat zombie. Uh, the duster is something that we would definitely want. Definitely, definitely want. Um... It doesn't fit us right now. That's okay, though. We can work around that. And there's a firecracker. Okay. All right. Come on, fat zombie. Oh, I can't see you there, can I? Can I stab at you there? We swing at the air. But hang on. I know he's there, right? We swing and miss. Okay. All right. We hit something. I like that it doesn't tell you how much damage you do. All right. Let's start running now so he doesn't get a chance to grab at us. Keep on moving. Don't you try and smash the glass, buddy. I know you want to. There we go. And we damage the knife spear again. Oh, a wrench. Hell yes. Great, we're actually getting quite close to capacity. However, I'm go I I'm tempted to put on the... Uh, let's put the fire axe on. Where are you, fire axe tools? There we go. Oh, drop item. Bugger. We can't fit... We can't fit the the spear in there. It's more voluminous, apparently. Okay. I'm just nervous about completely damaging this. Um, yeah, so the duster we can go ahead and wear. Um, 
It's going to encumber us a fair bit, though. So we need to watch out for that. What's our encumbrance at the moment? Yeah, that's not great. That's not great. Oh, frack. Okay, we're going to have to be quick. Uh, the, the dinosaur suit, I don't think we're going to need. So let's just try and be quick about this. Plastic bottle of salt water. Sure. Go ahead and take that. Take the bandages. Um, right. We're trying to do this quickly. Newsboy cap. Okay, what have we got? Cargo pants. Uh, they don't fit. We can make them fit, though. So let's go ahead and pick them up. Put them on. Okay. What have we got? A pair of sneakers and some orange soda. Uh, do we want the sneakers over our dress shoes? It's a good question. Let's go ahead and compare the two. Uh, not the knife spare. Rather, the sneakers versus our dress shoes. And see what we got. Uh, dress shoes, dress shoes. There we go. Okay, so, uh, no, the dress shoes actually give us better protection. Um, they encumber us a lot more um, for not that much protection, though. And the coverage from the sneakers is actually better. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do a bit of a quick swap here if we can do that. Taking off our dress shoes, we're going to go ahead and put the sneakers on. We're no longer a dapper lad. Sneakers. Oh, skeletal dog. Hello. Hi. Bye. Actually, could you see me? I don't know if you can. No, you can't. Um, but there is also a zombie as well. Okay. I think he might be aware of us. Is he going to try and smash that window? He isn't yet. He's currently just being a dog. But, okay. All right. Time to go. Oh, the goddamn dinosaur suit got me again. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to mark this house as... Well, it's kind of semi-explored. Let's just put a mo note and just say semi-explored. So it's not quite explored, and we'll mark it as explored, but it'll have an extra note on there. We'll see if we can make it down to that house, but we're getting close to capacity at this stage. Uh, we are very thirsty, so if we can make it out onto the street and be away from everyone else, we're going to go ahead and have some of the pesto. No, we're going to have the orange coal, orange soda. Okay, that's a armored vehicle that lacks wheels, but at what has mounted M249s at capacity. They have ammunition in there. Uh, can I unload those? Remove? Can, I can't. I can't. Rem I can't remove anything exactly. But uh, I think they all have ammunition in them. Oh shit! That's a zombie brute. Unload. That's a whole heap of ammunition we could take there. Yep. That's a whole ammo belt. Can my inventory take that? Yes, apparently it must, it can. Okay, what about the one that's here? What the hell? Okay, yeah, unload it, my dude. Uh, okay, can I remove it? Because sometimes they're a little easier to remove than you think. Uh, yep, I can totally freaking remove it. I removed it. I picked up the M249. Holy crap, we've, we've got a machine gun in our hands now. Well, in our backpack. Okay. That's something. Uh, let's go ahead and reload this thing. Putting in this ammo belt. Oh, okay. Alright. We loaded it. Uh, let's start running. Oh, we were actually running before, but let's definitely start running now, because I think that's a zombie brute just smashing up that poor vehicle. Okay, we're close to the library now. Would be nice to be able to take some books, if possible. And we've got a regular zombie down there, who is potentially going to cause us trouble. So it might... Oh, it's a tough zombie as well. Hmm. I'd like to see if... Oh, shit. Of course, shady zombies. And now both of them are aware of us. Not so good. Let's go ahead and start running. Okay. Another zombie across the way there. Okay, they've managed to smash their way inside the home. That's okay, this home can serve as a distraction. Uh, we are completely out of breath. That's not good. I really want to get inside here instead. This is the library. Are we going to be able to crack this window open? There's nothing to pry. Okay, so we need to try and find the front door to this place. Let's just peek around the corner. We're safe so far. Okay, come on front door. Oh, what is that? Okay, no, no, that... Okay, that's a building. Under construction, under construction. Okay. 
Oh shoot, is this where we were just before though? Because I think they might still be around here. Which could be troublesome for us. Okay. I think there could be trouble inside here. We're inside the library. Okay. We've got computers for days. Let's see, what do we have back here? Antenna. Okay, we'll take it for electronics projects. Anything hidden away in here? No. I'd very much like to rest to get our stamina back, but I don't think it's going to happen. A pair of eyeglasses, they're not the kind that we need. We need bifocal. And there's no curtains on these glass on these curtains either. So, Fletcher's friend. Yes. Okay, it's a it's a bow book. Ah, uh, see, I want to take a lot of these books, but quite a few of them we're not going to be able to take just because they're too heavy. You know what? We'll take what we can for now, though. We can start to just liberate when we need to. Computer science, we definitely need that for the lab. 101 was exactly what we needed. Okay, so now we start to get not so good. Army marksmanship, that would be fantastic. I'd love to get cooking on a budget. Um, we might be able to do away with the history of firefighting. That would help us out with fabrication. Is there anything else that we can get rid of in our inventory that is just too heavy? Easiest way to do this, we'll just go ahead and sort by volume. Um, obviously, yeah, the gun's quite voluminous. Hmm. Um, tough decision to make. Hmm. That barely takes up anything, the marksmanship manual. Is the cooking going to be more useful than the firefighting? Yes, because it might have the abilities to make alcohol in it, or the denatured alcohol, so... I mean, hell, there could be many other books in here that we decide we desperately need. Drama novel. Okay, that's fine. Book of essays, and we can hear something or someone else here. Bon appetit! Okay, that's uh, restaurant reviews. So that might actually tell us where restaurants are in and around this area. Bird Health Monthly, that's a construction magazine. Romance novel, dance, dance, dance. That would actually help us when it comes to dodging. However, in saying that, our dodge isn't actually all that terrible. It kind of is at the moment, though, so... Okay, all right. From the west, we hear glass breaking. Okay. We need to get out of here. I'm going to mark this library as explored, because we have pretty much explored it now. We have a mechanics garage down to the south. I'd love to be able to get to that before we return home. It's 10 o'clock at the moment. Oh, hello, Shade Zombie. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Let's start running. We need to try and get the hell out of here. Okay, I want to try and go back towards the entrance. Giant cellar spider, please just leave me alone. Okay, alright. So this should be the mechanics workshop down here. We need to try and find a way in. It's a window. I don't... Can we pry this? Smashable. Impassable. Let's go... Crowbar. No. So it's, it's another window that doesn't open. That's fine. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to take care of the shady zombie. Um, although we've got no stamina right now, so know that we can't really do that. Um, shoot. Uh, safe mode off. Safe mode off is what we want. Um, I don't know how good we're gonna be here, honestly. We might just have to try and strike at him. I would love to have the fire axe out. Okay, we're just gonna have to start trying to fight. Okay, that's a good stab. We stab at the shady zombies he tries to claw at us in the darkness. Again, he attempts to. We move to the side, stabbing at him, piercing his thigh. We take it out, slashing along his front. And again, with one final pierce, the thing dies. Smashing the corpse, we hear a noise close by. Okay, we're being followed. We don't know by what. Do we have time to drop this and get our fire axe out? We don't know. But so far this thing's been pretty good to us, so we're just gonna wait. Let's peek. Okay, it's definitely gonna be a shady zombie, so let's close that for now. We're going to go ahead and wield the fire axe. We're gonna have to drop our knife spear for now. Okay, all right, it started smashing the door. Ah, uh, that's wielding the flashlight. Fire axe. And there we go. Another shady zombie smashes its way through the door frame. As we attempt to slash at it, it tries to grab us. We knock it to the side, but it gets a bite in at our neck. As we slash again, falling to the side, hitting the wall, we stumble. 
As we attempt to right ourselves and strike again, we hit it in the side of the neck, blocking some of the damage that it tries to do, do to us with the axe. We swing it back around, slicing it and killing it. But before we can have a moment's rest, another one replaces it, grabbing us. We slash at it as the zombie clambers, biting onto our leg. We're blinded as the thing slashes at our face, but our sight returns quickly. Our bashing skill has increased as we smash at the thing and kill it. Smashing the corpses, we see a swimmer in the distance. Stop smashing, no. If they start approaching, we will. Now, let's see what we've got. We're gonna take a bit of a breath. We really need our stamina to come back at this stage, so let's just wait here. Okay, we're doing good. Okay, now let's see, what do we have? Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, good stuff all around. A work a tool belt. I'd like to take the tool belt, if possible. The work pants and the t-shirt, I think are probably going to replace our gi. Let's just see what else we have here. Work t-shirt, work pants. I mean, they should be, like, pretty good material. We've got some boots as well. The encumbrance is a bit higher, but everything about them is better. So we're going to go ahead and drop our sneakers that we're wearing. Take the boots. And we're going to go ahead and wear those suckers. What else do we have in here? Um... A lot of the same things. The hard hat, we're just going to go ahead and put on right away. Safety glasses, steel toe boots. Okay, alright, so. The work t-shirt and the work pants, we're definitely going to want to try and take with us. Um, so let's just have a look at our gi real quick. Judo gi. And then let's just have a look against the work pants. Just to see how we're looking here. So... The work pants are nowhere near as encumbering, and they almost give the same kind of protection. And they also have storage to them, so I think it's going to be better. Um, the cargo pants that we have are obviously going to be better, but right now I think that's better. So let's go ahead and take off the gi. And we're going to go ahead and replace that with our work t-shirt and work pants, both of which actually fit. So we're going to go ahead and wear that, and we'll go and wear the t-shirt as well. Uh, we can wear the tool belt, but it could add a little bit of encumbrance that we don't actually want to have right now. The gi we can hold on to as well. I don't think that'll be an issue. Uh, I'm tempted to take off our... Yeah, actually we're going to do that now. We're going to take off this kefir. Just to free up our head a little bit. Head encumbrance isn't so bad though. It's nothing for us to really be concerned about. Um, the work gloves I'm also tempted to take. Uh, if we can make those fit, it'll be pretty good for us. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's crack this thing open here, and this is where, hopefully, we're going to be able to find something good or useful. So far, just engines, nothing dramatic. Okay, we've got our makeshift crowbar with us, right? So let's go ahead, the crowbar, we're going to go ahead and pry open these crates. Uh, P for pry, I guess? Yeah. And there is nothing in them. Ain't that a thing. Okay. Oh, shoot. What do we have? Okay. Let's just wait a turn. Okay, it's probably a shade zombie. If I had to if I had to guess, I'm going to say it's shade. Yep, it is. So let's go ahead and slash at him. Slicing him for 30 damage, he manages to bite part of our torso. We slam him back against the wall, bring our axe down. He manages to hit our torso again and again. But finally, sending him bouncing off the wall, we kill the thing. Pair of sneakers long sleeve shirt. Okay. Let's make this fast. What do we have? An air filter. Um, not going to help us, unfortunately. And this car isn't anywhere near complete. Uh, I'm tempted to turn on the flashlight after we've had a look around here, just to see there's nothing else that we've missed. Okay. That's something else that I can do when I'm fighting the shade zombies. We can turn that on to see what we're doing. We're going to go ahead and mark that as explored. We have a house next to us here, and we also have an empty residential lot. Okay, and we have what looks to be a zombie horde down that way, so don't know if we want to try and interact with that. No, what I think we are going to want to do is get back home. It's been an okay successful night run for us. It hasn't been terrible, but it hasn't been amazing at the same time. There still are a lot of things that I would like to come across that we just haven't been able to yet. That swim is getting a little too close for comfort, so we're going to go ahead and use this mechanical winch, opening up the garage. Now we can see what looks to be a semi-complete home. I don't know if we're going to find anything of interest in there. What is that? A nail gun. That's something of interest. 
So let's have a look. There could actually be some things here that we could potentially utilize. Nothing in the dumpster, apart from cigarette butt. Oh, that sounds to me like a shady zombie. We hear a, a clump. Okay, if we're fast, we can just keep on outpacing it. So I'm okay for doing that for now. Two canvas sacks of concrete. What else do we have? Time magazine and some marbles. It's not worth trying to climb over all that crap to get to, so we're not going to do that. Um, saying that though, we can potentially investigate... Have we investigated this? What is this? Dojo, yes, okay, right. No, so we've been in the dojo already. I'm going to mark this house as explored. So we've had a look around most of this block now. We have a restaurant along the way. Could potentially have food and or water for us though, so we will potentially have a look at that as we move across the path here onwards towards it okay I think we could still be getting trailed by a oh matchbook yes please and yes we are definitely getting trailed by one if not more than one the door is locked we managed to break out of the grab safe mode turn that off start to smack at him our cargo pants are ripped shoot this too okay come on there we go Come on, Bran. We're taking damage yet again, and that's a deep cut. We managed to kill the two of them. We're just going to have to get out of here. Smash them if we can, and then start moving. We're here. We could try and make our way in. Let's do it. Pick that lock if we can. It damaged our tool. Nothing yet. Come on. We've had no luck with lock picking this yet. Um... Do we still have access to that one? No, it's destroyed. Okay, alright, so keep on trying. Improvise lockpick. If that fat zombie comes too close, we're just going to have to call it. Right now, this should actually be upping our mechanic skill, but it isn't, so I don't know what it's upping. Okay, that destroyed our lockpick. Okay, we could just go ahead and crack this thing open. We might just do that. It could also be our pain that's making this more difficult for us to do. Or it could just be a very difficult door for us to, to actually crack open. Alright, makeshift crowbar. We try, but we cannot pry the door. This door is difficult as hell. There we go, we managed to get it open. Although I imagine it would have hurt us then. So, can of chicken, fantastic. Um, wood stoves, but I don't think we can break those down, unfortunately. Spoon and a ceramic plate, spoon, spoon. Mineral water. We definitely want to try and bring some food back with us, so we're going to have to drop off some of the crap that we don't want. We could just wear the tool belt for the time being. Give us a little bit more carrying capacity. Take the water, take the cardboard box of cheese fries. Imagine those will have a little bit of life in them. Raw lasagna, perfect. Chardonnay. Glass cup that we don't think we're going to need. Okay, alright, spotted a zombie, and we're hearing other noises, so we're just going to get the hell out of here now. Hope that the fat zombie isn't too close, and he isn't. Let's close it up so it's semi-safe for us. Hello. Lacking wheels. Okay. The remains of- Oh! Oh god damn it! Okay, yep, shady zombies all around. I should not be surprised. We need to start running. We need to get back home. Okay. Let's get a move on. So far, we're managing to outpace them. But that acidic zombie may just catch us. Okay, alright, we're running past the bank. We've got a zombie child, which is going to hit us off. We're just going to have to try and go for it. The zombie child does see us. He's tailing us. As we try and make our way back towards our home. We don't know where and if the spiders are still around. We need to keep our eyes open. As we take a step inside. Okay, right by our freaking door. That's just brilliant, isn't it? Okay, turning on the light. It is actually standing over our cellar door, as a cellar spider would do. Um, it is moving away though. Can we make it to there in time? We can try. Okay. Close that damn door, my friend. Okay, we can all take a bit more of a... breathe in and out. We've made it back down to our cellar for now. We are somewhat safe. Somewhat safe. We came away with a damn decent amount of, uh, food. We came up with some tools that we didn't have before. We came up with a whole heap of books as well, which is great. We still don't have a bloody screwdriver. I can't believe we haven't found any duct tape yet. If we had the screwdriver, then we could disassemble things, get all the parts that we need 
to be able to make ourselves a light strip and to be able to work down here and not really have to worry so much about light. Obviously, it still does require batteries, so it's all part of it, but um, yeah. We need to try and treat this arm. That's going to be our first port of call. Let's go ahead and start dropping some things off just to wrap things up for this episode. Putting everything away back inside. I was not anticipating shade zombies at the end there. It's a tough thing about walking around at night. They can be there at any stage and you just, you just do not know. Okay, so the salt water, that can also go across there for now. You can use that for a number of different things. And we've got a whole heap of crap down here. Solder and all sorts that we're going to be able to drop down. And as for tools, the hand drill and the wrench can go up there. The tailor's kit can join it. But the tailor's kit's going to be great for us. Very, very good. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and drop this gun up here along with the ammunition for it. We've got ourselves a machine gun. That's... Um, that's something pretty cool. Um, can we quench ourselves right now? Well, we could have some booze. Don't know if we want to right now. Yeah, I think uh, I think we'll hold off that for a second or two. But what we do need is more disinfectant. So we're going to go ahead and take some of that if we can. Um, on the counter... Actually, are we out of disinfectant? Is that a thing? No, we've got heaps. I was like, how are we out of disinfectant? Apparently you can't do it that way. You need to go ahead and select it and activate it that way. Okay, so let's put it on our arm and thankfully we do disinfect the wound, which is great. We're going to go ahead and take some of these bandages and start to apply them to pretty much everything. Um, it's really only our torso and our arm that are going to need it though, I think. So we don't want to go overkill with it. Because we are going to need these bandages for a lot of things, so... Our, our other bits and pieces should naturally start to heal over time. But we're going to go ahead and start taking a bit of a breather. Okay. We made it for another day. Only just towards the end there. If those two, if there were more than two of those shade zombies around us. And if they actually did manage to get a pretty good grab on us. That could be very, very bad. Very, very bad indeed. But we've made it through another episode together. Guys and gals, I'm going to be going away for a little bit. There is an update video that's come out to talk about that. So if you see videos missing for a little while, it's just because I'm away out of the office. I'm on a little mini holiday visiting some friends. I will be back and as will Bran. Again, thank you to Stately Raven for the fantastic fan art. If you do have any other fan art that you'd like to uh, submit to this, please do because uh, I, I, I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. It's excellent. So guys and gals... That has been our episode for today. Bran has survived another day in the mega city. It isn't a glamorous existence. It's one that is spent scurrying from place to place. And now, well, we're a little bit better protected than we were before. We've got our work shirt. We've still got our stethoscope close at hand. Uh, but we've got this nice duster now, which um, I think if we can make that fit us, it gives us good protection. It also protects us from the weather, or at least it should. Um, it doesn't say that, but, you know, that's okay. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be good for us to hold on to. We've got our nice new Therm um, work pants that we're wearing in tandem with our cargo pants. So our legs are pretty encumbered right now. So I'm going to go ahead and swap the work pants out for the cargo ones as we refit them. But yeah, I think he's looking like a bit more of a survivor. He's lost a lot of his original... Um, get up that he had when he started but um he's still got that skiff that stethoscope there he's ready and and rearing and unfortunately our bifocal glasses are pretty damaged as well so we're gonna need to try and fix those before they fall apart because if they do we are not gonna be able to see very well at all so guys and gals that's us as i was saying i have been rykon you have all been awesome and until next time stay tuned